Hey guys, Davis Sauer here, so I'm just going to show you real quickly how to make that missile interceptor part on your missile actually work. I have not seen one tutorial for it. I have looked multiple times just to get information on it. Can't find anything. So I figured it out, and I want to just make it real easy. So, step one, you need an AI mainframe, okay? Set it up standard, naval, whatever you want, aerial. Uh, just make it, place it. And the next thing you want to do is get that missile warner attached to it and actually put mine raised up here just so it can see on that horizontal plane all the way over here. See this guy? It's perfect. Okay. And now the next thing you're going to need is you're going to set up that whole missile. Okay. And here's the missile and how I set mine up. Two short range thrusters, fuel tank, two fins, and the missile interceptor, most important part. Short range, two of the short range thrusters just to make it quick fuel tank it's not going to go that far and two fins have it uh, be able to turn even better uh, optionally you can put on a sticky flare and that sticky flare will actually you know help with other missiles say if the infrared missiles will actually get the attention of those missiles but for the sake of this test there are not going to be any of those we're just gonna put the next spin on there this is just gonna be easy for you so we got the fins back on there, perfect. All right, and the most important part is what's going to make it work. The automated control block. So what you're going to want to go down here is place one and go down and say hostile missile closer than input meters, and we're going to set that to 500. Fuck it, as far as we can go, that's what we want to do. And then we're going to say, where is it? Where is it? Weapon systems, fire weapons, perfect. Effect range, say if it was going to be right next to your thing, you'd set it you know fairly close if you don't want all your other weapon systems to go off at the same time so what this means is when a hostile missile is closer than 500 meters or blocks I should say uh, this automated control block will search within seven uh, measured blocks uh, around itself and then it will fire those and in this case it's going to be our missile controller here you can see the missile's already gone and when it fires that the missile interceptor will actually go for the missiles. You can see it's blasting off and it's hunting them. You can actually see there, right in the corner, it actually hit one. But what I'm going to do is head right back over here to my tester. This is great. It's real simple. It's slow and easily to target. So, all you do is fire. Ooh, you can see it. I should turn off the other missiles. But, what happens is those missiles will actually come and hunt you this case right there see both of them came up here came hunted the freaking missile and they will stay up and they'll keep going and keep going until they run out of fuel if they don't run out of fuel then they will you know for a while they'll just keep bouncing from missile to missile they can hit multiple missiles they're not restrained to just one they can do multiple let's see this thing go off again. Okay. So, they'll hit the missile. If they hit one, they'll keep going if they have enough fuel. If they uh, hit one, they have a one second cooldown before they can detonate their charge. Oop, and see? That one was up there. Came from all the way up there down to hit the missile. They just keep working and working and working. So that's a simple tutorial for you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.